Where are we, Cecilia? Home. No, we're not home. <laughs> Try again. Where are we? Costco. Costco. So we're gonna get two carts today. One cart. Away we go. You ready to go? Let's go. We've got Christmas trees. Did you see it? Let's go down the aisle. Oh my gosh. Let's go down the Christmas tree aisle. We have Christmas trees. What in the world? Oh, I think I want those deer. I like the. I like the deer and the little snowman family. Oh, so cute. You want to touch it? Just touch lightly. Touch lightly. Ooh. Look at the smiles on your face. Oh. See the pillows? They're so soft. So it doesn't really matter when we go to Costco, every time we go, we find something besides food. And this week we found a vest for my husband. He really needed one. That was actually a hunter green color. You just couldn't tell. Um, and we also needed avocado. So we got three bags of avocados because they were on sale. We'll make things like chocolate avocado pudding. My kids put them in all their salads, so the avocados will not go to waste. We went ahead and picked up some watermelon, and I'm pretty sure that season is going to be ending rather quickly, um, but we love to have that just as a snack during the day when the kids are pausing from um, doing schoolwork. We bought two packages of the tiny tomatoes, and then we also bought another size package of tomatoes for things like sandwiches we were going to make a basil mozzarella salad i know there's a name for that but not remembering the name right now and so we will go through and it's going to be sad because you know the season's changing and tomatoes won't be as fresh and delicious anymore so we're going to enjoy them when we can we go through lots of apples and we always make sure the apples are organic um so we got three bags of those we got limes because we're having um, nachos and burritos and all that good stuff and we like to make sure that the limes <clears throat> and the lemons are also organic. The onions do not have to be organic. They are not on the Dirty Dozen list and so we went back to buying our onions at Costco because the price of onions are kind of going up. At least in our area I'm noticing potatoes and onions are just going up. Um, I was really happy to find blueberries. Last week when we were in here we could not get them. My kids love to snack on those. We'll make blueberry muffins. They'll put them in their pancakes. We just eat, we eat a lot of fruit. You'll notice that I'll have a full cart full of produce before this is all over. The carrots, we're making fried carrots and we're gonna make some soups this week. So we got a really big bag of the organic carrots. They're the best price on carrots there. We also grabbed two different kinds of mushrooms because we were making a lasagna and we're making sandwiches and omelets and. We'll go through, believe it or not, both of those boxes within a week and a half. Celery for ants in a log and soups and stews. Asparagus for our tofu asparagus in the mornings. Lots of peppers, lots of cucumbers. We just consume a lot of produce, which is good. Those nine cucumbers, by the time I'm recording this, are actually gone. So they lasted less than a week. Nine cucumbers completely gone. Um, that lettuce is actually gone at the time of recording this. And so, spinach, I think we have some spinach left. And that's because we have salad a lot, very often. We make veggie sandwiches. And so, I try to make sure the kids get as much produce, fruits and veggies as they possibly can because it's so good for them. Now, we make our own sauerkraut, but the one we made, I don't think turned out. So, I went ahead and grabbed that. And then my son requested these sausages for his birthday. And so, yeah, there's our nails. I don't know what we're doing. Um, so we grab those. And then the tofu, we don't consume a lot of soy. And if I do have soy products, it has to be organic. And so we're gonna make a tofu asparagus scramble. And so I needed to make sure I had a couple of those on hand. So I wanna apologize if my voice sounds a little crackly. Um, I have no idea what's going on, but that's just the way it is right now. And I wanna get this video up for you. You guys, if you're at Costco, that is the sweetest book ever. Um, I wish I would've recorded her. She was like going over all the little sounds and saying all the letters and I just kept her occupied for quite some time. 
while we finish grocery shopping. If you find this buffalo dip at your grocery store, I think I talked about this in my last grocery haul, you just have to buy it. It is super good. And if they don't carry it and you need to request it, you can do that at Costco, you can request items. We did not get the keto bars, although she really wanted those. Um, but we did grab two of the organic smoothie bags. We were having um, smoothies and I love this mix. There's like strawberries and blueberries, kale, spinach, and I believe mangoes and bananas. It's all organic and it's super fast in the morning. Just throw those into the blender, add whatever other super foods you want, and then pour some milk in and away you go. Of course, you know, we grabbed our favorite chips. Those are super clean. If you have them in your Costco, that's another one you just have to grab because we're having nachos this week and we needed them. So I always try to make sure that we have enough things like blueberries, strawberries, mangoes in our freezer just for things like oatmeal, smoothies again, um, just pretty much anything because your frozen fruit is actually way cheaper than buying your fresh fruit. So during the fall and winter months and when things are out of season, we really will end up buying a lot of that and we use it for everything. Another great thing at Costco are the large bags of mixed vegetables. They're super good price. Um, I do not get paid to talk about Costco this much. I just literally, this is where I shop and I love the store. So if you don't have a membership, find one. We drive an hour to get to our Costco and I can tell you it's well worth it. Broccoli, great deal on broccoli. With the price going up a little bit, it's still a really great deal. We will probably eat broccoli, gosh, three times a week and we will go through an entire bag each time. We can't leave without buying string cheese. My little ones love that. And with all kinds of classes and things starting up, those are perfect for lunch boxes on the go or just snack time. Now we have this thing where we have to be buying cheese puffs now. We do not buy cheese puffs if they're not at Costco because they're too expensive. And it's just not something I like my children to get used to eating. But the last few months, Costco has had cheese puffs and they've ended up in my cart. So. We usually bring them to someone's house and split them and share them and so it's all good. Um, they have great deals on coffee. So in those almond flour tortillas, it's another great deal. Way cheaper than any other store. My boys needed pants and lo and behold, Costco had them, of course. And then my two daughters like to match and so we found these really sweet dresses and so we bought those as well. Like I said earlier on this video, we really don't go into Costco and just buy food. We always end up with something else. So I like to leave enough room in my budget to do so. Maple syrup, we get two of those for, you know, things like pancakes and cooking, um, homemade granola, cookies, energy bites, anything like that. We use almond butter. We'll go through probably two or three things of peanut butter a week. And I like to have enough on hand. So because we usually use the almond butter and the peanut butter for cooking, so it's not just on sandwiches. The honey that I showed you will last longer than a week. And these are the rolled oats that we prefer. They're sprouted and I love that they now have glyphosate free. That's super, super important when you're looking at things like wheat and oats. So we grab two or three bags of those. Go through two bags, not the third, but I always like to make sure we have backups upon backups, just in case. So the olive oil that we buy um, from Costco, we always make sure it's just from one country. So we like the one that's from Italy. And then the avocado oil there is clean as well. So we'll get our avocado oil from Costco. That's a really good brand. All of our almonds, walnuts, pine nuts, pecans come from Costco. Um, it's a really good price. And we like to make our own nut milk, so it's really handy. These are one of my favorite chickpea noodles. We go through plenty of those. And they didn't have turkey slices, so we got the albacore wild tuna. We don't eat a lot of albacore because it's a large fish and we're always trying to watch our mercury levels, but that's the best um, tuna they have at Costco, so that's what we grab. And then we, of course, bought olives and condiments and ketchup and love that ketchup. It's usually $5 a bottle for just one, one bottle at any store you go to. And it was only $10 for three bottles at Costco. So I've kind of started a little bit of a pile of ketchup because eventually they won't have it anymore. You could smell the flowers, which I just think is the sweetest thing ever. She was just so happy to do that. We picked up some dried mangoes and we were having... Um, trail mix this week like we always make and the kids request a dried mango. Christmas items come in and they go out really fast at Costco. So if you ever see anything 
that's more holiday-ish and you know you're gonna want it, just grab it. If you, if you can, grab it because it may not be there next time. Faith formation classes and things like that coming up. So we're gonna be on the go a little bit more than normal. Otherwise, like the applesauce and stuff like that, we just buy in jars. Now, you don't have these honey, cinnamon, yummy, delicious crackers or graham crackers from Simply Mills at your Costco. You need to request them because not only are they clean, they are delicious. You're not gonna regret trying them. And I don't even know, I could do a whole video on them. They're so good. So you wanna skip this one that I'm showing you here. Um, I Yes, you wanna skip this one. I know a lot of you eat this one, but the ingredients are not nearly as clean and they're not as good for you. It does cost a little bit more, but I'm telling you, you won't regret it. So I happened to grab two of these coconut rolls because I can't just eat one and they were on sale. Um, these will also go in their snacks. And these grain-free granola bars are amazing. You get 16 in a box, so at $18.99, it's a little over a dollar a bar. It's really not that bad. I know the $18.99 though is like, whoa, that looks really high all at one time. But when you break it down, it's not too bad. We did buy some organic cashews and some macadamia nuts for various dishes because we like to make our own dressings. And so we put macadamia nuts in like cookies and things like that. So we finished up with Costco. It took us probably about 20 minutes to load everything up. Thank goodness for my daughter. She is into organization and we had two full carts of groceries. That tin of cookies we won't eat till probably November, but then a lot of it will not last us as long. And that's okay because then I know that we have backup in case I decide not to go back the following week. And if I do need to go back the following week, a lot of times it's just a very small load. So another perk about shopping here is that they don't use plastic bags. They have boxes, but we have these wonderful crates. And so we just like to throw everything in the cart and then we go out there and then we kind of do our thing. And here is everything all organized. You didn't have to sit through the process. You're welcome. From Costco. I didn't record our drive there. I'm not sure how much you guys want to watch and I'm just still getting the hang of all this. So I'm like editing the driving and all that kind of fun stuff. But you guys let me know. Do you like the longer videos or do you like the videos that are like under 15 minutes? Because that's kind of where I'm leaning towards um, just based off of what I normally watch. But you guys let me know. I would love to serve you the best I can. When we go to Whole Foods, we buy things on sale and we fill in the gaps so we don't get at Costco. Same with Trader Joe's and our co-op. And isn't that sticker sweet? One of the employees gave that to her and it matched her dress. She was so proud. So we got things like romaine lettuce, um, kale, dill, cilantro, parsley, peanuts, um, lemons as I needed organic lemons and Costco doesn't carry organic lemons. And then we got some of the Granny Smith apples. Again, Costco doesn't have the green organic Granny Smith apples. We grabbed some apple cider vinegar. I remember when Bragg's was $3.99, like not too long ago. So the fact that I'm seeing $7.50 is like mind blowing. I noticed that sweet potatoes are up. These are about $2.40 a pound, I think. So I believe they're way up from last year, at least by 75 cents a pound. But we need a few of them for dinner. So I picked up some of those. We go through a ton of garlic. Um, I've been known to go through a whole head of garlic in one meal. Um, it's so good for you. So I make sure that we eat a lot of it. There's our eggs we got for $6.74 on sale. Crazy, crazy how much eggs are. But I'm really picky and Vital Farms is wonderful. And so we got the pasture organic eggs. Only buy what I need for the week. I don't buy extra on those unless we're at our discount co-op store, which I just did a haul on that. And we got some really great eggs for like a dollar. 59 I think is what it was. So I was really happy that I don't have to buy them for the next week. So we also picked up some of this popcorn. This is what I'm talking about. If there's something on sale or something that my kids see they want in their snack or something like that, pineapple slices were on sale. Things like, well, actually no, pineapple slices weren't on sale. That was my little one wanting pineapple slices. But we'll use them. I love the little boxes. Um, and what I'll do with those, I actually will just refill them. I'll refill the boxes because they cost more than buying in bulk. 
Uh, we got our cream cheese. That's a vegan cream cheese. It's really good. We like our superfood creamer. And this is a shampoo and conditioner that I always recommend. It is linked to my Amazon store, but it was on sale at Whole Foods, so I picked it up. Now that bread was an excellent, excellent price, and so we needed four loaves. It did not mean to clear the shelf, but I did, because I needed the four loaves. We grabbed some English muffins for little pizzas and breakfast, things like that. And that was it. And here's what we spent. This is a grand total for both places, Costco and Whole Foods. Some of this will last me more than a week, some of it won't. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw here today, will you join our community and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next video. Follow us for more.